everybody, welcome. I was asked to show how I sharpen my tools, my lathe tools. Um, I would love to have one of those beautiful wet grinders with the diamond wheels, but right now it's not in my budget. So if you want to see how I sharpen my tools, very basically, very economical, but it, it works and it sharpens them perfectly. Oh, so stick around and I'll, and I'll kind of walk you through this little budget setup here. Well, I got this very fine aluminum wheel. I'll show you a little picture of it. Um, you know, obviously you got to get it for the size of your grinder, but, um, you can get them on Amazon or whatever. I got this bench top grinder from a garage sale. I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. The switch went bad on it, but uh, easily put a new switch on there. I mounted it to the bench and then I built this, this out table here. Um, just, you know, make sure it's nice and, and level with your bench. And then what I did was I put this little stop block, squared it off the best I could with, I believe I did it off of here, off of the face plate of the, the grinder. So this is pretty much square. As long as everything is not bent or whatever, you, you should be pretty square. All right, like I said, I, I, I put this little stop here, squared it off to the front. I drilled a couple holes to accept uh, my fixtures. The first thing I made was this little adjustable flat, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, a little table. That fits up against the slide here, and you could either use it for you could set it up to do stuff like this. Also, I, if you tighten it down, throw a little bolt through there, bring that on the bottom. I picked up this little diamond sharpener thing. And that's basically what I use this for. It's nice and flat. Set this flat on there. Right, now the wheel's nice and dressed, nice and flat. I made this little slide to hold my gouges. And that also sits up against here. I, if you have shorter gouges, you could just do it like this. If For the longer gouges, I got this little extension that I made from a, a, an old bed rail or something. So this <clears throat> mounts up against the uh, straight edge here. Drop your little carriage bolt in. Tighten that down. Now you have the, the option of sliding this back and forth. What I like to do is I mark the face of my gouge. Then I drop it in there. I bring it back. Drop it to where it looks like it's flat with the wheel.
turn the wheel. Look at your gouge. It's only kind of hitting on the bottom. It's, it's pretty close, but it's, it's a little light on the top. So I re-darken it. So if it's only hitting on the bottom, you got to slide it back a little. Slide it back. I have this so I line it up with the side of the, the rail. Spin it. And that's pretty good. The mark goes all the way up. So then you just start your start your grinder. Have it seated in there. Drop it in. Just give it a little spin. There you have it, a basic, in my opinion, perfectly fine uh, sharpening, grinding of your tool. Works for me. It might not be for everybody just the way I do it. Like I said, if you're on a budget and you just need a way to sharpen your tools, this is a, a very, I mean, this whole setup probably cost me Whatever the wheel cost, honestly, I don't remember. And 10 bucks for the, for the grinder. And then this stuff I kind of scrapped from here and there. So with a little precision, you know, with take your time, line stuff up. And you, you too could have a cheap little grinder. Again, I would love to have, and someday I will have one of those beautiful, you know, tool grinders. But for now, this is what's in my budget. I hope this helps somebody. Um, you know, a lot of my videos are about, you know, free wood, doing things on a budget, you know, trying to just encourage people to, 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 to get into the lathe, the wood lathe. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, it's so expensive and this and that. But if, you know, if you use your imagination, you could, you could save a lot of money. And, and I think it's, it's a wonderful, a wonderful um, hobby. Make a little couple bucks on the side selling stuff. Make great gifts for people. Um, again, hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you so much. If you have any interest, please uh, subscribe, like, dislike, share, all that good stuff. Thank you so much.